All right, hey everybody, it's Keith Gaming Ram. I'm back. Um, I apologize for the audio in the last episode. I am hopefully fixing it, fixing it with this, but let's get back to it. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe be uh, come in from time to time. Manny kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Oh, you know what? Let me get get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Hey. I'm working on a new banana bit bread recipe, and I need help coming from it, coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're gonna have to taste test it first, so we can get can uh, get the full flavor profile of you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of Amanda nods vigorously. She knows the game. Yeah, we need to give the man a bread of taste if you want us to do any free creative labor. I think that would be a con oh crap. commensurate with, uh, I taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just going to give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, that, Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. This is amazing. Oh. Thanks. The secret ingredients is bananas. I would have never guessed. It's in the damn name. Banana bread. Secret ingredients being a banana. I would have never guessed. Oh, I apologize, everybody. I just woke up. So, I'm getting... The uh, episode of this in before I go to school. Alright. Mm. So, any ideas? Stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you bad dad band puns, but it'll it, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> banana bread Kennedy's grateful banana bread. Right said banana bread. Got the dead Kennedys, Grateful Dead, and right said Fred. <sighs> no, I've never seen someone do this one, so we're gonna do with this one. He likes it. Hey. I'm a hard dad. Oh, I totally forgot to read the last part, so I'm sorry. Huh? That's actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah, Banana Bread Kennedy's Strong Decisions, that's our baby. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized I, that I sh that it doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and I maybe should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Oh. Oh. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Hey. See, it sounds good when you say it. Oh, I apologize, guys. I, my allergies are kicking in. <sighs> Sorry about that. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by, by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet for just a moment. That's Danny. That's Danny. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't... Hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who was? Who is that? It's Danny. We finish up our coffee, our drinks, and head out. Hey. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay. Now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Where to? <coughs> ah. Jeez. I apologize for that. I need a nap. We just had coffee. Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father is a rebel, sweetie. Now all aboard this is train to sleepy time junction. I hopefully I'm speaking loud enough. Um where that my mic is picking up my voice, hopefully. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps coming up from behind us. Keith G? Bro! Hey. I turn around and am greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Uh, bro! Bro! Uh, Holy! 
wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. Huh? It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Ah. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Oh, oh thank you. That, the last time I saw you, you are about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and will wave it, wave it and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Huh? Nah, dude, River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up two exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where have you been, man? Hmm. I was working out in California and just relocated with the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Ashley doing? I mean, oh, Ashley. Man. Ashley is her name. Huh. She actually still goes by Smashley, and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Hmm. It's old news. We take turns caring for River and the twins. It's all co 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 some word I don't know how to pronounce. Goodness me, I wish I had better reading skills. And I and I'm in college. Twins? You have three kids? Ain't life something, bro? Right. Cake Stan Craig is a father of three. Hmm. Ugh, I'm sorry, I apologize. Keg Stan Craig? Oh, haha, <laughs> yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Would have never guessed that. What are you gonna do next? Explain what keg stands are? It's that thing, yep, it's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Hmm. Right. He was very good at it. Hmm. Ah, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog. I really gotta keep my heart rate up. Front river along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. Well, on January 1st, when I promised myself I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but gave up after 30 minutes and just walked home. Oh. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't know. Hey. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up, we could uh, do a bro brunch like the good old days. Alright, sounds great. Oh. Great, let's, uh, let's get going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. One second, I'm gonna be right back. I have to go take care of my nose. Alright, I'm back. Alright, sorry about that. Craig gives us gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe he's ripped and has kids of a really huh? Why is that? The Craig I knew is not was is not fit for to be responsible for anything, including and, and especially himself. 
The one time I watched, one time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then drank it like it was a thing to, that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyways, we better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I am, and how old I am, I feel later. Amanda and I flop down on the couch. Amanda has this has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Huh. Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back in these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Hmm. Oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Yeah. A dog? Forget art school, I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around its neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. Speaking of college... Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them, and she pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. Yes. Thanks, Amanda. This is from McGowan College of Arts and Design. Open it. Hmm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. Ah. She takes a deep breath and rip opens the letter with her teeth. You have a letter opener, but okay. Hmm? I hold my breath while Amanda darts, while Amanda eyes start back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee committee has reviewed your application. Blah blah blah. Um, we. Oh. Her face drops. Oh. Forget, regret to inform you that we are unable to offer admission you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. So sad. Uh. Amanda throws a letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Mm. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't put those bad experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just wanted to see por por portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other art school's going to want to snatch you up for, you, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? Hmm. I'm fine. Really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, I'm a R and I'm a PR sleeping over tonight. Aww. So... You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? <laughs> I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I have, you know... Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have a new place to yourself. Yeah. What are your plans? Quick, think of some plans. Um. Man, I'm going clubbing. I'm gonna pull out, a, pull on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hot dance moves: the lawn mower, the sprinkler. The running man? You know, the ones that all the kids are these days are doing. Uh -huh. Alright, but I'm not gonna come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding, I'm actually going to... Uh, I know that brings Robert into the equation, but... I'm going to save right here, because 
I'm gonna bring it back here so that I can get the other thing for Robert. But I'm just gonna see what happens if I go to bed. I'm wiped. Have fun with the Emmas. We'll try to keep it down. I know you're not going to, but I appreciate you saying that. And don't forget that you have a meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. Awesome. Night pops. I put my pajamas on. I put on my pajamas and make myself a nice mug of mint tea to get ready for bed. I can hear Amanda and her friends laughing from her room. I hope they're having fun. a fun night. I'm really glad Amanda has such sweet friends, even if I can't remember their names. Just as I'm heading towards my room, the doorbell rings. Who hmm. could possibly need anything from me right now? Do they even know what time it is? I have pajamas on. I walk over to the door and open it. Hello. A handsome... A scumbag man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello? Hi, I know you're, it's kind of late, but I baked way too many cookies, and I can't have these in, my, in the house, or I'll just eat them all. Excellent. Oh, where are my manners? My name's Joseph. I'm a scumbag. Oh, yes, hi, I'm Keith G. That is what my name is. Mm. I saw the moving van and thought I'd do a neighborly thing and bring you a, uh, bring you some. My daughter Chrissy wanted me to let you know that she baked them herself. Joseph leans and sends it and whisper, get away from me, you scumbag. Huh. But between you and me, she just sprinkled the chocolate chips. Uh. <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? <laughs> Amanda pokes her head out of her room and immediately hones in on the cookies. Wow, cookies, huh? So, nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies, dirtbag. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Uh. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name's Amanda. She's a richer girl. Oh. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Hmm. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you if you wanted to try to raise. If you wanted to, ah, there might. There, I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you if you, uh, with you to try to raise more than two. <laughs> I have four kids. Fuck off. What have you done? I just insulted a scumbag. I am great. Oh, um, I meant. Don't worry. He didn't mean to be rude. Oh yes, I did. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met, and my social life is already in the tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Is the business around? Nope, not anymore. She died. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's alright. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Mm. I'm sorry, can you close the door really quick? I look at Joseph closely but comply. I, after a second, I hear a knock on the door opening and I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Oh. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the whole cul-de-sac cul and love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? I don't know, you're a scumbag. Oh. That sounds great. My daughter and I, and my daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Get your hand off, that scumbag. Oh. Well, neighbor, I'll let you get to bed. See you three, at 3 p.m. on Saturday. Sure thing, scumbag. Joseph starts to walk away, but thanks for a second and turns around. <laughs> hey, in all seriousness, Raising a kid on your own can't be easy if you ever need to talk about stuff. I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't consider myself a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me. Let's suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. You seem nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookie in hand. 
I don't see either of those two. She has a perfect face and no cookie in her hand. <laughs> that was the smoothest recovery I've, I've ever seen. I should take the dainty notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Uh, they're gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyways? The M has helped. Right. Well, kiddo, I'm gonna catch some Z's. Hurry, the Z's are getting away. I run down the hall towards my bedroom. I'm hot on the trail. I'll get 12 hours of quality sleep if that's the last thing I do. I shut the door behind me. Amanda laughs at echo through the hall. Did I somehow get out in the middle of the night and come out to the living room? I don't know. Ah. <coughs> I wake up to a text from an unknown number. Rise and shine, early birds. Don't want to work out? This is Craig, by the way. Smiley face. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m.? Who does 6 a.m. anymore? Without realizing it, I, I drift back to sleep. Whoops, I must have winked back out. I check my phone again. Hey, bud, still want to get your swole on? I'm ready to tear up, up, uh, tear up the track. Hit me up. Yeah, that's the last thing I want to do right now, but it's Craig. I, I do want to catch up. Alright, we're going to the gym. Hey man, I need a few more minutes to I need a few minutes to wake up. I'll meet you I'll but let's meet in twenty. After a few seconds another text comes in. Sure thing, meet me at the gym. I stretch and my bones creak. I gotta stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw off my blanket. Hey wait, I don't remember falling asleep with a blanket. Amanda must have tucked me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. I reluctantly brush my teeth and throw on clothes. Um, the, cl the only clothes I I own that are even kind of gym appropriate and head out. Wait a second. How did we get out on the couch? We fell asleep in my bedroom. The neighborhood is quiet and scenery and, and serene this early in the morning. Birds chirp in the grass. It is still wet with dew. Surprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. I spot Greg at standing out front and standing out front stretching. Of course, he spots me and waves enthusiastic, enthusiastically. Oh. Hey, bro. Good morning. Hey, good to see you, man. I'm definitely not as pumped to see you as maybe I should have got, had. I should have had some coffee before mm. I left. You ready to kick some butt? <laughs> Help. Gotta stay poised, dude, with your help I am. Uh, I get the feeling that this is gonna be less of me kicking butt and more of the gym kicking my butt. But I can handle it with you here. Dude, bro, that means a lot. Hey! We head into the gym, and I immediately... Yeah, and I'm immediately int intimidated with all these people that look like they could break in half. And it seems like Craig's friends with all of them. Mm -hmm. Hi, he high fives and fingers guns all, all, all of the cool jocks in the room. They all look like they could uh, and would steal my lunch money and suspend it on protein cheeks. Nice. Come on, bud. Let's warm up. We head over to, uh, to the treadmills and start walking. <sighs> okay. I can walk. Walking's good. This is a decent pace to be walk to be walking. So I know we we're on treadmills. Mm -hmm. Yes. And those over there are ellipticals. Oh. Very good. What is all this other stuff? <laughs> Craig laughs. Hey. They might look a little scary, but I guarantee you all of them serve a specific purpose for building muscle mass. I watched as a dude in, in a muscle he flexes a, mus a muscle I didn't even know existed on a machine. I think it, it was once used to process green into flour. What is that? Why is the guy doing that to himself? Hmm. That's a good question, bro. What do you think he's doing? Trying to crush, training to crush people with his eyes, using a mini like, torture device, praying to some sort of pain god, using a medieval torture device. There's a tiny man in there, right? And he did something that the court found unfavorable, and now the muscular dude is uh, doling out justice for him in the form of pain. Oh. Hmm. What? Oh no, Craig is turning up the speed. I better do the same. 
How uh, how long have you been doing the buff thing? Oh. A couple of years. And what do you do when you're not dadding or the workout or buffing? Mm -hmm. Oh, I coach my twin softball team. That still counts as both dadding and buffing. Mm. Ah, I keep busy. What do you do for fun? I mean, I'm in college right now. Check out my hot pot. I spend most of my time in front of the mirror, admiring my Adonis-like figure that I've worked so hard to sculpt. <laughs> By that I mean lay horizontally and watch the bad television. We're jogging now. Oh god, we're jogging now. I look over at Craig, who hasn't even broken a sweat. How is he doing this so effortlessly? I'm dying. I can feel... I can feel my life force straining from through every orifice of my body. Mm. Hey, remember when my fish died in college? <sighs> no, don't like this story. <sighs> oh my god, he's really bumping up the speed again. I guess I better do it, too. Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. And you were at the party, and you vowed to make me feel better. You t told me you tell me to create a distraction. So, uh, of course, I do a ke uh, sick keg stack to get everybody cheering. And then I huff, try to steal a fish from a fish tank at the party with my bare hands, like an idiot. Hey. And then you drop the fish and it's flopping around, so you panic and you run up to the post keg stand with a dying dirty fish in your hands that you scooped off the ground and now, you ha now you're yelling at me that we have to leave. Bro. So we're running out of the frat party with the fish trying to give it mouth to mouth resuscitation and we get him home and get him into a bowl of water. But the protagonist was grim and the next day he's <sighs> alive Ew. and well. They never did catch the great the uh, fish thieves of Grand Ridge U. And they never... Well... I shoot off the end of the treadmill and crash into the wall. Jesus, that hurt. Hey! Dude, bro, are you okay? Craig offers me a hand and I look uh, and looks me over for injuries. I'm... Fantastic. I managed to stand up and rub my back. Doesn't hurt now, but I'm sure it will later. Oh, man. You don't have to push yourself like that. Always know your limits. Well, I think I might call our gym adventure here. Nice. You sure? Yeah. Oh. All right, well, here, I brought this for you. Craig hands me a shaker bottle full of thick green liquid. I stare at it with with uh, what must apparent, what must be apparent as taste. Uh -huh. It's a protein shake, bro. Oh, thank you. He wants me to drink it. Oh boy, here, here goes. I take a small sip. It's actually delicious. Wow, this is really Whoa. good. And good for you, it's my special recipe. I'm pretty proud of it. Hey. Let me know if you ever want to work out again. Maybe we can try running around the neighborhood if treadmills aren't your speed. No puns intended, bro. Good one. Well, I'm gonna go put some ice on this. Everything. Oh, well, I'm gonna go put some ice on this. Everything. I'll see you around. I leave the gym, gym feeling ashamed. Craig is used, is used to order used to order delivery um, from the pizza place across the street from our dorm, and now he can run in circles around me, literally. Man, I really gotta work on this dad bod. I get home and lie down on the couch. It hurts to move. Oh god, I'm so old. Oh no, I must have fallen asleep. What time is it? Shoot, it's 3.55. I'm supposed to be at Amanda's school in five minutes. I frantically put some clean clothes on, apply a, pre a generous amount of deodorant, and run out the door. <laughs> I arrive at Amanda's school and check in, uh, in at the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. Well, I'm going to call it here, guys. So, uh, <sighs> we'll get to see Hugo and the rest of the lot next time. I got to get ready for college, so I'll see you guys later. Till then, I'm Keith Gaming Ramp. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>